control it, turning is Canton. Drops it back to Kandari. Kandari with a long pass, it's cut off, and on the move is 21, Ryan O'Connor. Takes it and goes, shoots, and he scores! Up high on Grubauer, and the Spirit lead at 1-0 on the giveaway by Kandari. 8-18, the time of this beautiful goal by the outstanding young defenseman, Mark uh, Kandari, went for the cross ice pass, and he paid for it. Sixth of the year for O'Connor, but look at where he top, top shelf is. This kid is going to be a good one. That was one of the guys I did talk to Todd about before the game. And Kendra White and Grubauer. The Fires get the loose puck. Here's Canton up on the wing, cut off at center ice, inside the zone. Two on one break, developing skeletons across the zone to the goal, a pass in front, and they score. The Spirit, just like that, make it 2 0. Josh Shalla gets the goal, he gets the gift out front. And like you said, Bill, just like that, it's a 2-0 hockey game, 22nd of the year for Shala, who's having an outstanding campaign. He was quiet last game as well. And right away, you get Ryan O'Connor going, you get Shala going. And that's key for uh, Todd Watson. Those guys have to go every night if they're going to have success. Spitfires just did not do a good job picking up men, identifying Jordan Skellett. And we're underway. Here's Mark Kinderi with a shot to the goal. The score of the save. Ryan with an open net and he scores. Kenny Ryan scores with Spitfires. Cut the deficit happens two to one. Well, needless to say, a big goal for the Spitfires. Seventh of the campaign for Kenny Ryan. Spitfires control the face off, get it back to the point, the quick shot. And Kenny Ryan crashes the net. He gets a big rebound right there, top shelf over a sprawling Edward Pasquale. But great shot by Kandari. Quick, quick shot. And uh, Kenny's there to poke in the rebound. Good job by the Spitfires. Great face off. Good shot by Mark. Dunning back after it for Windsor. Trying to get the hall. Here's Trochik across the line. Wide on Fowler. A shot. Rubar the save. The rebound. They score. Scarbosa gets the two, lead, two goal lead back, and the Spirit make it three to one. Three goals on eight shots. You got to wonder if Philip Grubauer's a little bit rattled here early. I'm not faulting him. There's been uh, some high quality scoring opportunities here for the Saginaw Spirit, but obviously his first game here tonight, he's got to be a little bit rattled at this point. The move is Taylor Hall. Hall sifting his way through center down the right wing, up over the Saginaw line, trying to get by Philman. And rink, rink wide feed to Kinderi, side of the goal, a centering pass for Hall, and he scores. Taylor Hall from Dale Mitchell, the Spitfires, will still remain on the power play with 6.22 to play here in the period. Well, how many times have we seen that this year, Bill? That little backdoor play, they get it down low really quick on the one side. Taylor Hall waits on the other side, and it's a tic-tac-toe play. Spitfires got it down to almost perfection. And right there, Taylor Hall is it, there to bang it in, pulls the Spitfires to within one. Time of this goal, 38. Taylor, that's goal number 27. Away in Sanderson has it, with 4-10 to play in the period. Down the left wing for Barry Sanderson, the late man now to the goal is Ross, the back in, and he scores! Garrett Ross scores for the Saginaw Spirit, and it's 4-2. When the replay does come up here, I want you to notice Barry Sanderson. This is a guy who doesn't have lightning feet, but he really is good in traffic with the puck, and he can slow things down. He's a good creative playmaker. He started this whole thing off right here. Patience inside the blue line, tic-tac-toe. And a nice finish there for a big goal for the Saginaw Spirit. Seventh of the year for Garrett Ross. Go. Corner for Ryan, back to the goal to Watson. Austin Watson, back to the point, it comes to Young. Here comes the shot, scores! Young gets it up high, and the Spitfires cut it the lead down to 4-3, and Pasquale appears to be shaken up on the play. Young's eighth of the season. Well, we've talked many times about Harry Young and how good his shot is from the point, and there's another example of it as he just tees it up one more time, finds the back of the net, his eighth. Really tell what happened there. I'm not sure what happened to him. Give him a stick. Yeah. Line for Ross. Took a chop from Ellis. Knocked down on the play with Nevis, but Ellis is free with Wellwood. Lead pass for Wellwood. He's got a step in on goal. Wellwood making his move, and he scores. What a gorgeous oh. goal oh, by wow. Eric Wellwood. His evil, undressed goalkeeper for Squally. Shorthanded, it's 4-4.
hard to believe, but that's Wellwood's first shorthanded goal of the season. But Might what a move. Well. He looked a little bit like his brother in tight on the net there and showing those great hands. Eric Wellwood's 21st of the season. This comes at 149. Spitfire is very solid now between the pipes, not only for this year, but next year as well. Back to the goal for Ellis. Far side it goes. That's Cantor. Greg Nemus. Nemus fights for it with Cantor. See it by Kandari was knocked off stride. Played to the goal and they score. Shella tucks it on the short side. It's 5 4. Well, there's one that Grubauer would like to have back as Shella gets his second of the game, 23rd of the season. It gives Saginaw their lead back, 8 12, the time of the goal. A shot from the side, Shallot comes out from the corner. Grubauer just didn't get in, hugged that post well enough. Here's another good look at it. Grubauer just not hugging that post. He gave him the short side, and Shallot picked the hole. And oh, and Pasquale's gonna hold on with no further play. Morovich now is a tank up with Wallace, and here they go, and Wallace is gonna try to throw the right hand on Morovich, Morovich and Wallace. Wallace and uh, Morovich. Morovich is a tough little guy, but Wallace now laying the right hands. And down goes Morovich, and the officials are going to get between them. Adam Wallace and Tyler Morovich. Well, certainly Morovich's not known for his fisticuffs, that's for sure, whereas Wallace is. A little bit of a mismatch there, but. Uh, Wallace took care of business. Morovich, full marks for, for, to him for showing up. And uh, we'll, we'll score that a victory for Adam Wallace. 17.05 will be the... Wallace moving slowly. Outlet feed on the wing to Ryan. Ryan with a shot inside the zone wide. Far side it goes to Eric Wellwood. Taken to the board by Philman. On the puck was Nemus. Nemus comes free and he's dumped on the plate. To the goal, he's gone! Greg Nemus up high in the Spitfires grabbed our first lead of the night at 6 to 5. What a pretty goal by Nemus. Well, Greg Nemus uh, making up for the goals maybe he didn't get at the World Juniors. Just one to show there. But uh, he's picking up where he left off here. A couple of goals here tonight. Good hands. Great hands. My oh my. Oh. Look at the top shelf that he goes right there. Jeez. That's just an outstanding effort. The goal of the night along with Eric Wellwood. Ball, two on two through center, up across the line. The trailers, Harry Young Hall with a great move to the goal. A backhander! Taylor oh! Hall! Inside, outside, the Spitfires make it seven to five. What an experience, getting to experience this guy on national television to the junior tournament, and then to get to watch him live here at ice level. Taylor Hall has such exceptional skills. His speed is second to none but it's his hand-eye coordination when he comes in on the goaltender. I mean, he's just, what a tremendous hockey player. You know what, I don't know, if it, it could be years before. There he plays it for Windsor, for uh, Henrik, cross the line to Hall. Here's Hall moving inside the zone in the slot. That's the shot, go the save, the rebound, and score. Adam Henrik bangs in the rebound, the Spitfires make it 8-5, and this one's over. Yeah, that'll put the icing on the cake for sure. The Spitfires will get their 32nd victory of the season, 29th of the year for Henny. 16:31, the time of this goal. Taylor Hall will get another assist. Again, Adam knows when Taylor's out in the puck.